Hey guys, it's Ace from the Install Bay. We got a great one for you. You have a factory backup camera, you want to add an aftermarket radio, there's no plug for it, we're going to show you how to integrate it. Stay tuned. Alright, turn the car on, put it in reverse. So finding the wire, what you want to do is start on plugging harnesses until you figure out which harness is not connected to the backup camera. In the case of this vehicle, there's two harnesses that stop the backup camera from functioning. This little gray one here and this big white one here. So what you want to check then is to see what each one is doing. This one has fewer wires, so I always want to start there. Now we know there's two things it takes to get the backup camera to come on. One is the reverse wire, and one is the actual signal going to the camera. So we're gonna probe for reverse first. So with that, we wanna take our voltmeter. Put your ground there. So we'll start here. We got nothing. We got nine volts. We got 11.75. More than likely, this is gonna be the reverse wire. We'll take it out of reverse. Boom, okay. So we know this is the reverse wire, so we can hook this up to our aftermarket radio and have it trigger the reverse. Now what we need to do is find the camera. In this particular harness, it's got two bundles that are signal and this little green wire here. For a camera, you basically have four wires. You have signal, positive and negative, and you have power, positive and negative. So looking at these two, they both have four wires, so that's not gonna help us. So, you know, you just pick a side and go. In this case, we're gonna pick this group here. So what you're gonna to wanna to look for first is power, and it's typically gonna be six volts. So we'll go ahead and probe the black wire here, and we get six volts. So we know that that's gonna be our power, which is the black. So this is the six volt to the camera, so we're gonna use our step-down converter from 12 to six volts to power up the camera. Now we need to find the camera signal. For that, we're gonna use our CCD tester that we have. You can use any monitor, headrest monitor, or anything like that to do this. All right, so you just basically wanna take one of your connectors and put it to ground, and then you're gonna start probing. And there we go. Remember, there's only four wires, so it's not like we're getting that lucky. There's not that many to choose from. Now, since we know that that's the signal positive, we'll test the wire next to it and see, and there you go, we have the signal negative. So we know what three of our wires are. We have signal, positive, negative. Now we just need ground. My guess is it's gonna be this gray wire that's next to the black. So we'll go ahead and put our meters back into that. And it is. So we have our six volt power and ground. So how this breaks down then for us is on this particular plug, go ahead and unplug it. We have black that's gonna be our six volt positive. We have gray is our negative six volts. We have red is our signal positive, and we have white is our signal negative. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna solder an RCA onto these, and then we're gonna hook up our six to 12 volt converter, and we're gonna make sure this works again using our tool. So we have our new 12 to 6 volt converter installed. 
and we have our new backup camera RCA installed. So let's go ahead and test it. So we'll go ahead and plug in our RCA. All right, so there we go. What we're doing here is we're just using the power plugs, constant 12 volts and ground, just so we can make sure we have a signal. All right, go ahead and put it in reverse. All right, so the factory backup camera is working on the aftermarket radio. <laughs> All right, so wasn't that fun? That was totally fun. Yes, yeah. totally, you're so lying. All right, guys, we've been trying to do this one for a while. We hope you found this one extremely helpful. If you're trying to replace your radio but keep your factory backup camera, this will show you how to do it. Uh, what we'll do is in the description, we'll put a link to that 12 volt to 6 volt converter as well as any of the tools we used in this one so that if they want to pick them up, you can. Hot damn. All right. Thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And we do these things five days a week. And if you like them, subscribe thumbs up and ring the bell or you know share it with a friend tell your neighbors so whatever you want to do like 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 anyways you guys have a great night and we will see you later next time bye why you always gotta ruin it man what does this mean what do we do where'd you put the base on uh under the um the usb where the usb is right there This means base knob? This means base mob. Base mob. <laughs> this means base. It's a base mob! <gasps> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, gotta have shit at the end. Fuck. Okay. That's disgusting. So, wasn't that fun? Yes, that was fun! <laughs>